Yeah, Jeannie, the Orca is five to 6,000 pounds, so you can only imagine how much manpower they needed and how many hours they worked to get the Orca um, from off the beach. Now, what I know so far about the Orca is on its way to SeaWorld, if it isn't already, because they left about a few hours ago, um, the Orca is uh, going to be medically examined. Um, HCs were called out um, to Flagler Beach to help out with the recovery earlier this morning. Southeast Region Marine Mammal Stranding Coordinator with NOAA, Blair Mays, says the orca is an adult female. She says the orca did suffer cuts on its body, and by looking at video a neighbor took of the well um, of the killer well before agencies got on the scene, the orca appeared to be alive before washing up on shore. She says uh, they have been um, there have been orca sightings recorded in the Gulf Stream, Atlantic Coast, as well as the Gulf of Mexico, but she's never heard of an orca beach itself but we've never had a stranding, so that's what's so unusual. We've never actually had one beach itself. Uh, so this is extremely rare, and our job is to find out potential cause of death and get as much information as possible from this animal. May says right now it's hard to speculate exactly what uh, the cause of death is, and that's why they will be doing a necropsy on the killer well. I'm live here at Flagler Beach. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast.